fights. So round one is underway. Going to be very interesting to see how this fight plays out between one fighter who does everything well against kind of a striking specialist on the other side. And the problem with being a striking specialist is that you have to be upright. When you're facing a full-on mixed martial artist, expect the level change. We're going to see what type of improvement she's made in terms of defending herself in those wrestling situations. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Trying to double up on that jab. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the opening day. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with an understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first as she is showing us tonight. Good stick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division fight. Certainly looks like a fighter who can reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion. And Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Oh, nice jab. Oh, leg kick is good. So 39 total strikes have now landed for Tisha Torres. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to them. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. There she goes using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard or this fight could end soon. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab up top, she'll just start pounding that jab right to your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. And she lands that left again. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, another great combination. She is on point tonight. Oh, and she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what? Fire there, DC, the seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her upon her bag. Sean has got the full mount. Going for an arm bar now. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up some mission to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these... All right, both fighters now ready to go with the start of round two. The tiny tornado, Tisha Torres. And also ready to go, Wei Li Zhang. Zhang Wei Li with an entry here and able to connect on that one, too. Beautifully done. I watched Wei Li hit that, and I was amazed at the hand speed that she displayed in that short video clip. This is a fantastic striker, an unbelievable performer, and a great UFC champion. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, she's really putting it all together on the feet, DC, staying busy and certainly staying accurate. She's known for her hands, and this is why. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 80 total strikes that have now landed for the tiny tornado, Tisha Torres. And landing at a pretty good clip, 55% thus far tonight against Wei Li Zhang. Straight punch land. She's thrown tonight for opponent's hurt. Beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. All right, so she attempts the takedown here. Decent entry, but unable to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Oh! Lands a good combination. Back and forth we go. Oh, big left hook there. Big diving punch lands. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Fight. 
Torres gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet, despite having a dominant position on the ground. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh! Oh, my God. This is such a crazy fight. What a fight we got going on here! Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to chase the finish. Some real power shots here. Oh, big knee. Oh. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Wow. While she was long. How about those, those five minutes? minutes? Well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay. The cut on the cheek, but... You ready? You ready? So Third round underway. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Well, how impressive is this young woman? Look, you even see it. Look, she's out of her. Her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end. The ground and pound strikes continue to win. That's going to do it. Holy smokes. <laughs> That'll get the crowd on its feet. A near-perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up. She had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponents saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate. And that certainly spelled her fate here tonight.